This is where now I'll beat a lot of electricians. Troubleshooting will first of all save you time and it will save you money and it will make you, it will make you money at the same time. Why? Assuming there is a loose neutral, what happens when you go there with a tester? This is where now I'll beat a lot of electricians. Someone is on site and is calling me, John, there is a problem. I have an issue. I can, che I can check on the consumer unit. There is power, John. There is power. I'm using a tester. And then I ask, what is the voltage drop on the consumer unit? And they are like, what? I'm telling you there is power. There is presence of current here. Huh? I'm using a face tester and I simply ask them a question. What is the voltage drop on the consumer unit? Meaning, if you take your multimeter and record the voltage, what are you getting? What are some of the symptoms of a loose neutral? Number one, flickering of light. Number two, loose connections whereby you will find that one appliance goes on, other appliances are affected. You tell me, how comes when a bulb is switched on, a bulb that is on a different circuit, that is supplied with a different MCB, say a 6, affects the lighting or affects the socket in the dining, which is connected to a dispenser? How are those related if the wiring was properly done? 